What's going on guys? Uh, been a very long time since I've done a video, or I think it's been a long time, I don't remember exactly. Um, I haven't been picking much stuff up to be quite honest with you, but I figured um, I would just show you a few of my more recent ones. I think I got everything here that I have picked up. Uh, like I said, I haven't been really going out to stores or anything like that lately to buy stuff. Um, but figure we'd just jump right into it. Um, we'll start. I got two DVDs I had picked up. Uh, first thing I picked up is the complete season one of C Lab 2021. Never seen the show before, but um, I honestly I don't remember how I heard about it, but it looks pretty funny to me. I just got this a couple of days back, so um, definitely gonna pop this in at some point and give it a shot. Uh, it's a cool little case it's got here with uh, it slides out, almost looks like the side of like a submarine or something. Um, and of course, you got the discs inside here. So, yeah, like I said, I've never seen it. Uh, I don't know if anybody on uh, follows this channel at all is a fan of it or not, but you know, I'd like to know what you think. And uh, something I definitely plan on getting into soon. Uh, next, this is something um, I'd seen it as a, when I was younger. As, um, with my mom. It came out in 1977, so I definitely wasn't around when it was released. Um, but it's kind of like a Jaws ripoff. Uh, that's Orca, the killer whale. I don't remember much about this movie, but I remember as you know, a five or six year old kid being extremely entertained by it. Um, I think this is one of those movies I'm going to save for the summer. Uh, you know, throw it in, uh, watch it, a bunch of friends or something like that. Um, I remember a scene, it might be the end, so spoilers but the whale comes through the fucking wall of the house um just i don't know i don't know if it was intended to be as cheesy as it came across but from what i can remember it definitely was pretty cheesy so that's orca the killer whale so that's the dvds there um so yeah really i, I got five total blu-rays two of them are tv seasons and the other three are movies um the first one I finally picked this up, I wanted the Blu-ray for a real long time. It just didn't seem like the price was ever dropping. And I was actually getting to that point where I was, you know, I, I loved the movie so much, I was just kind of going to fucking pay for it. Um, and I checked, and it was eight ninety nine on Amazon. That's her, uh, with Joaquin Phoenix, uh, Scarlett Johansson, directed by Spike Jones. Um, it was, it, Amy Adams is also in this. Uh, this movie... I remember seeing the trailers and just being like, you know, I like Spike Jones, I like Joaquin Phoenix, I like the cast, but it just looks fucking beyond strange to me. It just didn't, or maybe not even strange, it just didn't look appealing to me for whatever reason. Um, and when it came out, it got all the acclaim and uh, people really enjoyed it. So um, I had a DVD screener on my computer and I finally watched it uh, maybe three or four months ago and just absolutely fell in love with it if you haven't seen this movie check it out it is it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um i can't wait to pop in the blu-ray now that i have um the blu-ray here uh, just because the, the quality of the one i had um was not great whatsoever uh next up a movie that i enjoyed more than i expected to um you know it didn't get a best picture nomination this year which i don't think it would have deserved um uh, it, it it definitely deserved it over American Sniper, but still, I don't think either of these, either of those movies did. Uh, that's Gone Girl. Um, I thought the Ben, ben Affleck. Let's try this one again. Ben Affleck's performance was really good. Um, Rosamund Pike, obviously, everyone's talking about her. She was great. Um, but the movie itself, I don't know. I, I guess I liked it a little bit more than I expected to. Um, I think personally, I just want to see David Fincher go back to doing. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure it's going back to doing, but I'd like to see him go outside of the realm of you know, grabbing the most recent uh, best-selling book off the shelf and turning it into a movie. You know, he did Gone Girl. That was a big hit at the time um, in the bookstores. Um, he did Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Obviously, that was a big book. Uh, even The Social Network was based off a book. So, um, yeah, I'd like to see what else he could do. Uh, the, the cool thing about this release, so I got this pretty cheap on eBay, I think I got for 15 bucks, and I just sold the digital code for 5 so paid 10 bucks for this. Um, seller advertised it as brand new, but it's kind of scuffed up on the edges, but you know, it's not, not a big deal. The cool thing about this, though, is this is the regular release. This isn't like a special collector's edition. It does come, if you see in the movie, it comes with the Amazing Amy uh, book 
from the movie. It's kind of like a, a children's book. Uh, I haven't read through it yet, so I'm not sure exactly if it's appropriate for children or not. I'm not sure what, which way they went with the book there. And then you get the uh, you know, the inside jacket, or inside the, the box here. Uh, advertisement for the books. And, of course, the Blu-ray. So, I don't know. Uh, for the price I paid, I'm fine with having it in my collection. Uh, I probably would not have paid full price for it. Um, you know, a movie that I, I'd probably revisit at some point. Um, and maybe if people haven't seen it. Um, you know, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, lastly, before we get to the TV s stuff, uh, Birdman. So, this won Best Picture last night. Um, I really, really did enjoy this movie a lot. Um, I just personally feel like Boyhood got snubbed. Um, I don't know. Uh, Boyhood was my favorite movie of the year and definitely one of my favorite movies in the last few years. Um, but Birdman was, you know, I, I'd say it's also one of my favorite movies in the last few years. Um, I mean, we had a, a lot of good movies come out this year with uh, Birdman, Boyhood, Whiplash was great, Nightcrawler was really good. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm forgetting a whole bunch, but um, so yeah, Birdman, the coolest thing about this release, or it's a really cool release, obviously, you get all the red here, which is really sharp looking, um, it opens up inside, so you get uh, Keaton, who got fucking robbed last night, um, they stand there with um, Birdman behind him, some quotes about the movie, kind of cool, there's the backside for you, and then the case itself is red, and you know, a little bit gimmicky, I guess, but it's cool to me. Show you that there. Sold the digital code on this one as well for five dollars. So I paid fifteen dollars for this brand new. Um, I got it from Target. I know there's people complaining. I'm not sure if you can see it here. Um, about when the people at Target put these into the cases, they just kind of jammed them in there, and that was definitely the case with mine. I didn't know that at the time, uh, but what I've done, I've actually put this on a, at the bottom of a stack of a whole bunch of other things that are heavier, and it, it's done a good job flattening out. There's still a crease, but you know, what can you do? Um, so that's Birdman. Um, check this movie out if you haven't seen it. It's a lot of fun. I, I read somewhere online say someone was complaining that it was too slow. Um, you know, if, if this was too slow for you, I'm cu curious what kind of mo movies you want to watch. Because this thing was all about pace. The whole movie was the pace. It was quick. You know, it, was, it was like the drums in the background. Anyways, I, I could talk about this movie for 10 minutes. So, I won't do that to you. <laughs> uh, the other two I finally picked up. Um, it's the only one uh, at the time had been missing from my collection. Game of Thrones Season 3. Uh, with the cool slip cover here. Um, I don't know what took me so long to get this. But when Season 4 came around, I was like, you know, fuck it. I have to add this to my collection. Uh, Rewatched the entire series, starting with season one. Um, started two weeks ago. Just finished up last night with season four. Um, I'm sure everyone has seen Game of Thrones, but if you have not, um, you're missing out on some great stuff. Um, great show. I've been reading the books as well. Or uh, I'm almost done with the first book. Um, just phenomenal, all the way around phenomenal. So that's season three, and then I went to Target and picked up season four. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. It's all dark, but it's got the raven on the front. Uh, underneath here, the uh, Alarm Magulus, Iron Throne on the back. Uh, this is the first time that they haven't come with the DVDs, which I don't really mind. It's just kind of weird when you put them on the shelf and they're two different sizes next to each other. Um, but season four of the show was... Um, I, remember, I remember it being a lot better the first time I watched it. Um, I think it's just the... The pacing in it, it started off on a high, kind of lulled in the middle, then you had another high towards the end, and it kind of, and it, just, it was up and down, up and down, uh, but oddly enough, I still think it's my favorite season of the show, so I can't wait for season five, uh, it's Game of Thrones season four, like I said, I got it at Target, so it did come with the bonus disc, and the, um, what are they calling here, a photo book, which is all like little mini posters, um, really cool, really fun to look through. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what I've bought um, over the last two, three, four weeks. I'm not even sure. Um, I actually did pick up a few other things on eBay today, I think. So, um, yeah, I'll probably wait a little while to do another video so there's more stuff. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think, what I've picked up. And um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys.